This election has produced a lot of interesting street art, much of which is anti-Trump. There are four signs around LA getting a lot of attention right now, and they all say the same thing. No Trump anytime. There's Trump kissing Putin. There's dump Trump. There's dead Trump. And of course, there's Nazi Trump. A lot of Nazi Trump. But does street art actually change anyone's political views? And if it does, which candidate is winning the art wars? In 2008, Shepard Ferry's Hope poster became one of the most iconic political images of all time. The image um, has achieved what I hoped for times 100. But where's the hope of 2016? Well, it's hard to come by any flattering Trump street art. Trump breakdancing with a hoverboard, even brushing that signature hair. I just thought it would be funny to put pictures of Donald Trump over the people doing bad things on the subway. If you Google Hillary Clinton art, most results are also negative. She reeks of scandal. She's a shrew. She's a bitch. Basically, she's a Meredith Brooks song. I'm a bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a child, I'm a The one candidate street artists seem to love is Bernie Sanders. A lot of people talking about a pair of Bernie Sanders murals that popped up in Richmond Scott's Edition neighborhood over the weekend. The art he's inspired is overwhelmingly positive. Several prominent artists have actually banded together to present a touring exhibition of Bernie-inspired art. Bernie and unsanctioned art appeal to the same people. He is to establish in politics what street artists and graffiti writers are to blue-chip galleries. Even Shepard Ferry, the guy behind the Hope poster, has endorsed Bernie. I'm supporting Bernie Sanders because I want to push principles, not personalities. Despite gaining the support of street artists, Bernie still trails behind Hillary in votes. So while street art might not always affect change or drive poll numbers, it does paint a picture of the message a candidate inspires. The history books tell us what happened, but art tells us how we felt about it. And that's one lesson you can take to the Banksy. This is your mic check.